rumble of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket is coming back as soon as tomorrow. It's been gone for the past two weeks after the FAA grounded the rocket. And SpaceX announced it's ready to count down to its next mission slated for 12:21 a.m. Saturday. New 6's Ezzy Castro is here explaining why the launch is significant, Ezzy. And Bridget, just yesterday, SpaceX was cleared to fly once again, and the company says the plan for tomorrow is to send 23 Starlink satellites to orbit from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. In just a few hours, SpaceX is set to resume flights out of the Space Coast with a Falcon 9 launch. Liftoff is set for 12.21 a.m. tomorrow morning, with an open window until 4.21 a.m. The launch comes after a nearly two-week ground stop of all SpaceX launches, following a problem with their launches in California earlier this month. News 6 spoke to CBS's space correspondent Bill Hardwood about the issue just shortly after it happened. They have cameras mounted on the rocket. You can see these ice buildups on the base of the second stage. Lots and lots of ice was flaking away and flying off into space, indicating a leak somewhere. SpaceX released a statement explaining that an oxygen leak caused what they call a rapid unscheduled disassembly of an engine. That means it blew up and all Starlink Internet satellites never made it to orbit. That's the real bottom line of this mishap. They were on a pace to launch more Falcon 9s than the shuttle program launched in its three-decade career. Uh, if you want to think about it like that, more than 140 flights were expected this year. And the Polaris Dawn mission, which is an all-civilian crew, was scheduled to launch next week, but that is now delayed due to SpaceX's grounding. Steve.